Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Jennifer and I'm a teaching artist in the Face Art program. We integrate the arts with the classroom curriculum. Coming to you today, thanks to the Acadiana Center for the Arts and the Lafayette Parish School System in Lafayette, Louisiana. And today we are going to be learning about a local artist named George Rodriguez and his blue dog painting and we are going to be creating our own blue dog today. So let's go ahead and get started. So boys and girls, this is the artist that we are going to be talking about today. And this artist's name is George Rodrigue. Have any of you heard of George Rodrigue? Well, he is a Louisiana artist and he's a local artist, which means that he made art right here in Acadiana where we live and he is originally from New Iberia. Rodrigue was born on March 13th of 1944 in New Iberia, Louisiana. He died on December 14th of 2013 in Houston, Texas. So we're going to be working on our blue dog, and as we're working on our blue dog, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the blue dog came about. So let's go ahead and let's look at a couple pictures, and I'm just going to quickly show you some pictures. And I want you to notice that all of the blue dogs all have a different place in which they are at in the pictures. Here's one with a tie sitting on a stool. Here is one in the wet, boys and girls. If you said the desert, you are correct. And what do you think this blue dog might be? You guessed it, a butterfly. Good job. And so here is one blue dog with flowers and clouds. Here is another blue dog with flowers. And I have one more blue dog. And blue dog, is that the what, boys and girls? You're right. The beach. Good job. All right, so boys and girls, here is the blue dog that I made for myself. And this is what we're going to be working on today. We're going to be making a blue dog. Now, if we look at George Rodriguez's blue dog here, we can see that for this one, he decided to use sort of some yellow and red on the background, and he kind of put a tree. For mine, I just decided to kind of make it look like a party, kind of. And I used these spirals and different colors. It just kind of made it really fun. And so, it's really up to you on how you want to make the background of your picture today. And the background is the part that's behind the blue dog. So, I'm just really going to leave that up to you. Now, George R. Gray used paint to make his blue dog paintings. Today, we're going to be using markers and crayon simply because um, Miss Jennifer does not have any paint with me. But if you have paint after this video, you can definitely try to make another blue dog. And instead of coloring it and using markers, you can try painting your blue dog. All right. And so the blue dog first appeared in 1984 in a book of ghost stories entitled By You. Rodrigue was the illustrator and artist of this book, which meant that he's the one who designed all of the pictures in the book. Rodrigue needed a model for the loop guru. Hmm, what is a loop guru? Well, a loop guru is a sort of a werewolf of Cajun legend who came from misbehaving children. So what that basically means is a long, long time ago, the older people will tell the children if they were misbehaving and not doing what they were supposed to do, that the loop guru was going to come at night. And so the children were very afraid of the werewolf, the loop guru, and so they started to behave. Now, the dog's heritage in this particular painting was a pint-sized devoted family pet named Tiffany. And so if you look carefully here, 
Here is a picture of Tiffany. Tiffany was George Rodriguez's dog. This dog stayed in the studio with him and spent lots and lots of time with him while he was painting his paintings. And often Rodriguez would take pictures of Tiffany and he enjoyed having Tiffany by his side in the studio. And a studio is a place in which an artist makes art. <clears throat> and so from Tiffany came the blue dog. Jar Jar Reek started kind of playing around with colors and he came up with this dog that was blue. And you might ask, why was the dog blue? Well, Rodrigue was thinking about the night sky when there was a blue moon and the blue moon was shining on the white and black dog in his imagination. And that is how he came up with the color blue. Now, Tiffany was a Scruffy Terrier Spaniel Mix. Tiffany had been the runt of the litter. The runt of the litter basically means it was the smallest dog in the litter of babies that the mom had. And the last puppy to leave the box. A fiercely mean little dog who snapped at friends and ate the furniture. But Tiffany was a loyal studio companion for Rodrigue. As I just said previously that Rodrigue liked Tiffany to be in the studio with him and spend time with him while he was making art. So over the years, the blue gray loop baru morphed into the blue dog. And that is sort of the legend of the loop garu and how the loop garu turned into a blue dog. So let's get ready to start our lesson. Let's get our white paper and our black marker so that we can begin. All right, boys and girls. So I am going to put this blue dog picture kind of right next to my white paper so that we can kind of look at the blue dog while we are drawing. So let's get our black marker and we have our white paper. So what we're gonna do at the very top of our paper, we're gonna go about this far from the top and we're gonna make just a little dot right here. And then we're gonna come down almost to the middle of the paper, but not quite, about this distance and we're gonna put another dot. Do you see that? I'm gonna make it a little bit darker for you. All right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to go about this high. So notice we now have three dots because we put another one right on top. And those dots are going to kind of help us get started. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to start at this slot dot and we're gonna go around and we're gonna stop about right here with a curved line. You're going to simply do the same thing to the other side. And again, you're going to stop about right here, sort of making like a part of an oval, but not finishing it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start here and we're going to make a curved line, kind of like a letter U. But we're going to keep on going up to the top. Watch this. Right here, we're going to put a zigzag kind of line and we're gonna connect it back together. That is going to be the top of the blue dog's face right here. Then we're going to make a mouth, just a straight line and a curved line. And then right where the dot on top is at, we're going to make an oval. And then this oval, we're gonna make one, two circles. We're gonna take our black marker and we're going to color this part in. This is going to be Blue Dog's nose, remembering not to color inside of those little circles. So here we go, here's his nose. And there we go. Now right here inside of his mouth, if you wanna put another little line for like maybe his tongue, 
you can do that. All right, so about right here and right here on both sides of his head, we're going to make two dots. Let's go ahead and make our two dots. Then we're going to trace around those dots. And what do you think we might be making right here, boys and girls? Well, if you said his eyes, you are definitely correct. Good job. And right above here, we're gonna make a curved line and a straight line and a curved line and a straight line. What do you think I just made? You guessed it, those are his eyebrows. And let's color in his eyebrows. Just like this. All right, so now we kind of have his face. Now, Blue Dog, if you look here carefully, right here, he had some really, really big ears. And some parts of it sort of look like maybe little zigzag lines on it. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to make zigzag lines and we're gonna go up to a point, zigzag lines, up to a point. And what is that boys and girls? Yep, you guessed it, that is his ear. Awesome, and then we could also draw two curved lines in the middle. Now the inside of this part will also be colored in with our black marker. Now don't worry, if you're not going as fast as Miss Jennifer, that is okay. I will give you time to sort of catch up with me. So just go ahead and just work on the parts that you're working on and I'll give you some time in between to finish. So there is one ear. Here, I'm going to do the same thing for the other ear. Now, I wanna make sure that when I make this ear, I again, start to make some little zigzags, kind of like this, zigzag, zigzag, and I'm gonna make a really big ear on this side because here you can see Blue Dog's ears are not the same size. And I'm going to make that curved line on the inside and the curved line on the inside. And I'm going to color in this part of his ear. Now remember <clears throat> that Blue Dog came about because Rodrigue needed something to make a loop guru, which was that Cajun werewolf that we talked about. And in looking at these different pictures of his dog, Tiffany, that was no longer with us, he decided that she would be the loop guru that he would make. And so, as you can see, this sort of looks like Tiffany. He has those little shaggy zigzag ears, that little white part on the face that we made here. And so there we go. Good job. How's it going, boys and girls? Don't forget to make the eyes pretty, pretty wide and big because Rodrigue made sure that those eyes were really big and he also colored them yellow so that you would see the bright, bright yellow eyes when you would look at Blue Dog. All right, so we're getting ready to go on to the next part of our picture. And if you look here, Miss Jennifer decided I want to put a collar on Tiffany and I made um, a little part, like a little metal part, and I put the letter T for Tiffany. But if you wanna make another kind of collar and maybe make something else right here, then feel free to do that while we are working today. So I'm gonna make that part in just a little bit. Now. I need to make Blue Dog's body. I'm gonna start right here on this side and about right here on this side. So you might wanna put two little lines, one on each side. And then you might wanna put a long curved line about right here, about that much from the bottom of your paper. And that's where we're going to make Blue Dog's 
body. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a curved line. And I'm going to make another curved line going up this way, just like that. And then I'm going to kind of come down and I'm going to make a curve right here. I'll do the same thing to the other side. Let's make a curve right here. Go ahead and do that part. I'll wait for you to catch up. All right. Then we're going to start from this part. We're going to go down and we just made blue dog one leg. And we're going to go down this way. And we just made blue dog two legs. Then right here we need to make another leg. Because if you see, Rodrigue made Blue Dog have four legs. Now we did it a little different from this one because on this side is where we're going to make his little leg that makes him look like he's sitting down. All right, good job, boys and girls. How's it going? How's your Blue Dog? Are you thinking about what you're gonna wanna put on the background of your picture? Hmm. I bet you have some great ideas. I can't wait to see what they are. Now I'm gonna make this one a little different from the one I made before. And maybe right here, I wanna put a line going across. So this part could be like the ground. I'm going to actually make some kind of ovals that are not finished here and some little lines because I'm going to put Rodrigue's blue dog sitting on the floor at this time. All right. And so, there we go. The next thing that we're going to be doing, boys and girls, is we're going to be coloring our blue dog. And to color your blue dog, you are going to need some crayons and markers. So you'll see here, Ms. Jennifer has a tray of crayons and markers that I'm going to be using. And as soon as you are finished, we can go on to coloring. You know what? I think I might want to do something right here. I might want to make him some little toes. Make him little toes right here too. It may be right here. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and make Blue Dog a collar. And this time, I think that I wanna do something a little different. I might make a little circle. And then maybe for this one, I want to change the design of the tag like this. And I still like putting the T for a Tiffany. All right, so let's make a collar. If you want, you can make your collar have a design on it. It could be some zigzags. It can be anything that you really want. Here, I might want to go back and just add some little lines on this part. And there I go. I can't wait to see yours. So when you're finished with your blue dog, if you have your parent or an adult take a picture of your picture, then you can have them put it on Facebook and tag the Acadiana Center for the Arts so that the other boys and girls doing this little lesson with you right now can see your work and you can see theirs. So again, take a picture, post it on Facebook, and tag the Acadiana Center for the Arts so that other boys and girls can see this little lesson with you, with you. If you need to pause the video at any point to finish drawing your blue dog, you can do that and you can always press play when you are ready. Um, but I'm pretty sure that you'll probably have time as I am coloring to get the rest of your picture drawn. And so I'm going to start first with my blue. Now I have a blue marker that looks like this. And I also have this kind of marker. It doesn't matter what color blue, but we do know that blue dog is what color? 
blue. Good job. And so here I'm going to start and I want to color in the ears. Now this blue is a little darker than the blue that I used before, but that's okay because it is still a blue marker, just a little darker. All right, so there's one ear. And now I'm going to color in another ear. How's it going? Are you ready to start coloring? I hope that you have a really pretty blue color that you're going to color your blue dog today. All right. So we're going to color his ears. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we need to color his face. But please remember that this part right here stays white on his face. Now I'm going to turn my picture to the side a little bit so I can color his face blue, making sure not to color. Oops, I went out the line a little bit, making sure to not color the middle or his eyes. All right, and there we go. I'll fix where I messed up. And I'm going to color around his eyebrow. I'm going to turn my paper over it a little bit so I can color around his eye. And you might need to turn your paper while you're coloring also. Um, and another thing that you might want to be careful is that if you touch your hand onto your wet marker, it might get on your hand and then get onto your paper. So you might want to try to not lay your hand on your picture. All right, and I'm going to do this side also. I'm going to color this side of his face. Again, around his eye. All right, and I'm going to color this part. I'm going to be very careful right by that zigzag line on top of his face and again around his eye. Now, Rodrigue painted Blue Dog blue and he looked at it as the sort of good dog. He also painted the Blue Dog red and that was kind of like the bad dog, the dog that kind of didn't do what it's supposed to do. So know that if later you want to make your blue dog red, you can do that because Rodri definitely had a dog that he painted red also. All right. And now I'm working on his body. Just like this. Just coloring up and down. And now I'm going to start a color around this part right here. Again, take your time when you're coloring. If you don't finish coloring, by the time Miss Jennifer finishes this little lesson, it's really okay because you can go back and you can finish coloring after because you will know exactly what we did today. All right, and then I'm gonna color this little part right here. All right, there's his body, and then his little leg. This is the little leg that makes him look like he's sitting down. All right, and one more little leg. And there we go. There is my blue dog. Now, I have some spots that are sort of white, and what I could do after is I could simply just go back and I can color some of those spots again and that will make my blue a lot darker and it will make my color look like it is even and it doesn't have some light spots in it. That's really up to you. You don't really have to do that. I think I'm gonna leave it in the space because I kind of like it that way. All right, so I'll finish my blue dog. 
And now I want to color his eyes. Does anybody remember what color Miss Jennifer said that Rodrigue colored, or should I say painted, the blue dog's eyes? If you said yellow, you are correct. Bright yellow, because he wanted those bright yellow eyes to look right at you when you looked at the picture. That is the part that he really wanted you to look at were the eyes. And so there are his eyes. Now I wanna paint his collar. And so I'm just going to um, start to paint all of the ones on the top, orange, here. And then I think the ones that the triangles at the bottom I think I'm going to paint those purple. So I'm going to paint these purple. Kind of reminding me of our Mardi Gras colors. That yellow and that purple. Yellow eyes and that purple in the color. And you know what? There's another Mardi Gras color that I could use. And that would be the what, boys and girls? You're right. The green. And I could actually color... Tiffany's little tag with the green. And I have two different color greens. Here, I have a light green and a dark green. So I think I'm going to color the outside part right here, the darker green. You can be as creative as you want on your pictures today. All right, and I have this little part right here, and I think I'm going to color that one green also. So how's it going? I hope that you love in your blue dog. I bet they look really nice. All right, the next part that I wanna color is the bottom. Now, I'm gonna use a crayon for this part and I'm gonna use a brown crayon to color the floor part of my picture. Again, you don't have to have the floor. You could have really anything that you would want your blue dog on on your picture. And so there I go. And you know what? I think I'm going to use a little bit of black. And I'm going to add a little bit of black here on the floor. And there we go. All right. And for the background this time, I think I might want to do something a little different from what I did here. But remember, you can definitely make these spirals. And the spirals are super, super easy to make. And let Miss Jennifer show you how to make them. All right, you would start with a dot and you would pretend that you're making a circle, but instead of closing your circle, you're gonna get larger and larger. All right, so that's one way. Start with a dot, circle, larger and larger. Now there's another way where you can start larger and go smaller and smaller larger and smaller and smaller. I love spirals. That's why I put them on my picture here. Now for this one, I think that I might want to make a wall behind my blue dog. And so I'm gonna put lines, just like I'm making a wall maybe a wall inside of the house. And again, your lines don't have to be perfect. Look at this, Miss Jennifer made one that's a little bit diagonal, but that's okay. And for this one, I think that I am going to use, hmm, let me see. I think I want my walls to be light green. So here's light green. And maybe I could actually use different colors. I don't have to just use light green. Maybe I can make a pattern. So if I make a pattern, boys and girls, and I make an AB pattern, then I would go green, another color, what? Green, another color, green, another color, and green, awesome. And my other color is going to be orange. So here I'm going to color my orange. So green, orange. What would be next, my friends? You're right, if you say green, absolutely. Now go ahead and work on your background. Do anything that you want. 
You can make a wall like I'm doing. You can make spirals. You can make it a desert. You can make it the beach. It's whatever you want. So green, orange, green. And now I need my orange again. I think I'm going to put a little bit darker orange on this one. And here we go. Here is my orange. Then I'm going to make my green again. All right, and then my orange. And one more color, which is my green. And my green is a light green. It's actually called a green yellow. Um, in case you want to try this color that I use because it's really a pretty color. But you can use any colors that you want. And so there you see, I have my walls colored. So boys and girls, now that we have finished our lesson for today, I want you to make sure that you come back and see us every day at 10 a.m. on the Acadian Center for the Arts YouTube channel for kindergarten first and second grade, each tied to the academic curriculum. You can also get these lessons on AOC as part of the Learn United program. Accessible on AOC, on Cox Channel 16, or LUS Channel 4. Kindergarten lessons will be aired at 8 a.m. And first and second grade will be aired at 9 a.m. The lessons will be in visual arts. Some will be in creative movement. Be sure to come back and make art with us tomorrow. If you're interested in supporting programs like this, visit the Acadiana Center for the Arts dot org, the nonprofit that manages the PACE program. Spread the word and, be sh and share our videos and keep making art.